Hello folks, welcome to the channel Echano Jose. Today we got this video about a question that one of our subscribers requested if we could show the, uh, how to remove and where is the uh, proportioning valve located on a Toyota Tercel. And we got this uh, 94 Toyota Paseo and it's the same system as the Tercel. So we're going to show you where this item is located and how to remove it. Okay, folks, so we got this 1994 Toyota Paseo and the proportioning valve is located. There's no engine at this point, so that's good. So we can expose you where to look for and how it's going to look. When the engine is on, it's diff it is difficult for us to show you. So this is a good time for us to show you this. So this is the proportioning valve. And what this does, this item, what does is uh, sends more pressure to the front wheels and less pressure to the rear wheels so that way the wheels don't lock up at the back and your car starts sliding side to side. So that's the purpose of this uh, proportioning valves. And what it does, once you start pressing the brakes, there's a cylinder here, a piston that when you press, it pushes hydraulic towards these lines and that lines goes to the proportioning valve. And some of these, they go to the front and some of those go to the back wheels. So w when they start failing, what is rare, but when it fails, the back wheels will lock up before the front and they, it can create a uh, big problems. But today, the purpose of this video is we're gonna show you how to take it off and what tools to use. So as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five lane lines of, uh, of a hydraulic these two bolts there's a, this 10 millimeter and this 10 millimeter those are to take it off from the frame of the car but before you start removing these you want to make sure you take these off these these uh, nuts that they're a uh, tubing nuts so we gotta use a special wrench for these you cannot just use channel locks or any open wrench because you're gonna damage these and we're gonna show you how that tool looks Okay, folks, so this is the tools that we're going to need. We're using uh, the special double end flare nut wrench set. And this is a Pittsburgh. This is pretty cheap uh, uh, set. This cost us about uh, $10 or $12. And uh, the tool that we're going to be using is a 10 millimeter. So they come in a metric size. We got all the way from a 6 to a 22 millimeter. Uh, oh, tubing wrench so we're gonna be using the 10 millimeter because these are 10 millimeter uh, nuts so there's five of them and we're gonna show you how this that who, how to take it so off what we do is we grab the size the fits and we slide it into the tubing and then we set it down and then we can loosen it as you can see You can see how this tubing wrench is, looks like a like a nut shape, but then they cut out the opening so the tubing can slide in, or they can slide. We can slide that that wrench into it. We set it, and it grabs it. Okay, folks, so we have removed all the loosened and removed completely out the tubing flare uh, nut. So don't remove your 10 millimeter uh, bolts until you remove these completely out so that these guys can help the valve towards the frame. So that way it makes your job easier on removing the nuts away from the uh, valve. So once these are completely removed, then we can loosen these, take them off, and then we can slide the, the valve out, but don't bend your tubing as well. Keep it on the, so that way it keeps the shape of how it is sitting.
Okay, folks, so this is how it was sitting, the proportioning valve. So we took it out and the lines have the shape as they were installed in the proportioning valve. Don't bend them because then you're gonna have trouble uh, putting it back on. So for to put it back on, we align every single brake line and then we start bolting it onto a frame and then we start working the uh, the, the flare, double flare uh, nut into the valve. So I wanted to show you the taking it off. So let's put it back on. Okay, folks, so now that we have uh, put our valve in or all the lines back in in the order they're supposed to, uh, one tip I can give you is that thread as much as you can of those double flare nuts into the valve by hand because if you just put two threads into it and then you start putting the wrench into it and it didn't go in uh, and guide it as it's supposed to, you're going to strip or um, you're going to have problems with that thread so you don't want to have that problem so you want to thread as much as you can and one other another thing i did i didn't put that two 10 millimeter bolts that hold it onto the frame because uh, i can play with a valve a little bit because these hard lines are really tough sometimes to guide so that gave me a little play with the valve and a little play with that line so i can guide them each one i started threading in each single uh, line into the valve and I thread it as much as I could into it so that way I don't uh, uh, strip it. So then once I work the valve a little bit and the line so I can thread it in, then I can put my 10 millimeter bolt in and then tie it onto the frame and that should finish my replacement on this valve. So now we have hand tightening all these uh, fr double flare nuts. So now what we do is we tighten these bolts to the firewall and now we can get our tubing wrench and we can tighten these double flare nuts because now it's a f secure to the frame. So that's going to give us the leverage so we can tighten it and we're not fighting the valve. So tighten it down to the frame and then tighten the flare nuts into the valve and that should be finished the uh, proportioning valve replacement. And well folks, this concludes the replacement or a proportioning valve on a 91 to a 94 Toyota Tercel. And uh, the one thing I can say, once you do this replacement, make sure you bleed out the fluid out of each wheel so that way you get the air out of the system because if you don't do that you're going to have problems when you brake your uh, when you push the brake and the car is going to react different so that's one thing that's you got to do that so for this uh, video and for these components we use a 10 millimeter tubing wrench and we use a 10 millimeter socket to remove the two bolts that hold the valve towards the fire firewall so uh, we did this with this uh, Toyota Paseo because it's the same system as the Tercel and uh, with no engine on it. This is to give you an image or an idea of what you're looking for and what you gotta do in case you need to do this kind of job. So like I said, there's no engine so that's even better for us to show you what a proportioning valve is because with all the components and the engine and everything here is gonna be really tough for us to get a camera in there to show you where that is. Well, folks, hopefully you enjoyed this video and find it informative, and we'll see you soon with more videos here in El Canal El Chano Jose.